Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, a channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we're going to talk about intelligent Wi-Fi. Now intelligent Wi-Fi is additional Wi-Fi settings that you're able to toggle on and off to get a better experience. So all you have to do is press and hold on your Wi-Fi icon. On the very top right hand side, you can actually click those three dots and you can have, you know, you can go inside of your advanced settings if you want to take a look at it. Other than that, you can go inside of intelligent Wi-Fi, which is what today's video is about. And there's a bunch of things that you can either turn on or turn off. So this is where you can have some better experiences. So the first one up here is switching to mobile data. So when you are connected to a Wi-Fi, if it's not that good of a connection, maybe it's slow or unstable, it'll automatically switch you to mobile data. That's another way to kind of help save your battery life as well, because if your phone is working hard to have a good connection then it's going to take up more battery it's the same thing when if you are at home you might as well connect to wi-fi if you have a good wi-fi network so this way you're not bouncing off of towers finding a good connection or lte so basically you can have this one turned on so again if you walk to a different area of the home that has bad connection it'll just switch you to your normal mobile network the next one here is switch to better Wi-Fi network. So if you have a couple different Wi-Fi networks that you're able to connect to, it'll automatically switch to Wi-Fi networks that are faster and more stable than your current network. Now to, pre to prevent the interruptions, this will only happen when the screen is off. So you're, if you're connected to Wi-Fi one, it starts to kind of have a bad experience. If you actually turn off your phone or if it you know dims out, times out, and you come back on, you might notice you're on a different Wi-Fi and that's what this option right here is for. Now this third one right here is gonna be my favorite on this list. So you can actually turn Wi-Fi on or off automatically. So the moment that you get home, if it's a Wi-Fi that you have saved in your device, you'll automatically have it turn on for you and connect. So then this way you're not connected to mobile data. Also, when you leave your home, it'll turn off the Wi-Fi. So this way, when you're going through downtown Chicago, New York, you're driving through your suburb, you know, neighborhood, whatever the case, if it's picking up on other Wi-Fis, it's, it's taking battery to discover those and also try to connect. So this is one of those that you might want to turn on. So this way it'll automatically do it for you. You also show network quality info. So you can show network quality info in the list of available Wi-Fi networks. So when you go back to that last screen, it'll give you some details. You can also prioritize real-time data. So some of these are automatically turned on anyways. Um, you can also take a look here, detect suspic uh, suspicious network. So get notified when suspicious net activity is detected on the current Wi-Fi network. You also have Wi-Fi power saving mode. I've actually never played with this yet, so I haven't really seen any examples. So I can't go deep dive in this one, but it reduces battery usage by analyzing Wi-Fi traffic patterns. You also have auto hotspot connections. So you can turn this one, you know, on as like ask before connecting or always. So you can choose when to connect to an auto hotspot device if your phone doesn't have an internet connection. This only works if Wi-Fi is on and there's a auto hotspot device near you that you're allowed to use. Uh, and then this intelligent Wi-Fi, I don't really highly suggest this, but if you tap it five times, you'll actually unlock Wi-Fi developer options. You can go through and you can take a look at a bunch of details like connection information, nearby Wi-Fi information, Wi-Fi diagnostic, but I wouldn't play with too much of this. You can look at a few things, don't make any changes. And when you turn it off, that Wi-Fi developer options kind of goes away, but that's kind of hidden down there in the bottom. But that's everything I wanted to cover today, talking about intelligent Wi-Fi. I'd probably state that these top three are the most important and definitely turn those ones on so you can have a better experience with Wi-Fi signal. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.